In the beginning was the word. Oh, see, you think uh, religion is for suckers and easy marks and molly huh? It's just You think Jesus was some kind of a sissy, eh? Jesus had guts. Hi, and welcome to History Makers. I'm Matt Prater. Today we're talking to Pastor Sadiq Paul from Gate for Nations Church in Pakistan. Now, I am really excited. I've just had a quick chat to Pastor Paul, and uh, he is literally a history maker, one of the first people ever to be uh, officially noticed by the uh, the Pakistan Air Force as a convert um, from Islam to Christianity. The story is absolutely amazing, so make sure you listen out for this one. Uh, Pastor Sadiq Paul, welcome to History Makers. Uh, thank you very much. Now, you're over here in Australia uh, telling your story. Yeah. I understand that this morning you uh, were able to share with the Parliamentary Christian Fellowship here yeah. in uh, the Queensland Parliament, yeah. and uh, you're speaking here at different churches. Yeah. Uh, let's hear your story. Yeah. Uh, you were raised as a Muslim. Yeah. At what age did you convert to Christianity? Yeah, Thank you very much uh, uh, for giving me the time and the opportunity that I can share how the God has brought me from darkness into his marvelous light. I was uh, Muhammad Sadiq, but now I'm Pastor Sadiq Paul. So I was born in a Muslim fanatical family in city Lahore, Pakistan. So I grew up with four sisters and one brother. So my father was a local imam in some mosque in the Lahore. And my father and mother tried to always teach me against the Christian faith and the Bible. They always tried to say that Christians don't have the truth and they have the corrupted one book in the shape of Bible. When, when I was uh, studying in grade 8, so that time I saw an advertisement in some newspaper. And due to the negative attitude and the ne- negative preaching of the, my mother and the father, the, there is a seeking and there is a suspense in my heart. And that time I wanted to see the Christian literature, where is the truth. So I wrote a letter to the Bible Correspondent School, Faisalabad. It's a city near to the well-known city Lahore in Pakistan. So after receiving my letter, actually that institute actually started to send me the Christian literature and I was receiving uh, those all literature and I was reading and studying and sending them back. But there was no influence in my heart that time because that literature is was in the Urdu la- national language. So finally, when I completed the course and my elder brother found my certificate in my bag and they beaten me uh, in a bad way, my father and the brother, and they warned me, okay, please uh, don't try to uh, read the Christian literature next, next time because it's a great insulting matter being a, a Muslim and a, a religious family in Pakistan. So I felt guilty and I promised them that uh, I will not read again the Christian literature because, because it's a great crime and the insult in Pakistan being a Muslim, you are going to read the Christian literature. But I believe there was a separate and divine uh, plan of God uh, for me and my salvation. And after two years, I went to college. And I joined the fanatic Muslim student organization. And that uh, Muslim student organization name is Anjuman Tulba Islam. And the head of Anjuman Tulba Islam promoted me as a general secretary in uh, 1989. And they trained me in a well manner to preach the Islam everywhere. And my heart was uh, with a full of passion to preach the Islam everywhere because it's written in the Quran in the Dina in the Lah al Islam. Uh, meaning of this verse is like this the Islam is the most dear and the favorite religion in the eyes of Allah. So, actually, Quran is giving the passion to every Muslim to preach the Islam and the uh, teaching of the Quran everywhere. So after uh, two years, in 1991, after that training, I joined the Pakistan Air Force as an associate engineer in automobile and diesel technology. So the Pakistan Air Force gave, uh, gave us a basic training for jihad and the uh, fight against the enemies of Islam. And uh, there is a spirit in my heart and mind to defend our country and the Islam because Pakistan is called the castle of Islam. And Pakistan is a basically so important country among the Muslim world. So I was that time full of patience to preach the Islam. And I got a marriage with my cousin that time in 1994. And God has created a, a seeking in my heart to find the truth. So one day I was thinking about the Christian faith. And sitting in my room, so just uh, there is an idea came into mind that I have to go some church and uh, I will put some question and before the priest about the Bible and the Son of God. So according to my decision, I went to a church 
in Attack near to the Rawalpindi. It's uh, the city situated near to the uh, Islamabad is our capital. So that time I knocked the door of the priest and the priest came out and I put the different question. Okay, your Bible has changed. Why you are believing in the Son of God, the Jesus Christ? But he was a man of God and there was a plan of God and uh, actually he gave me the very first time the complete Bible, the Old Testament then the New Testament. And there was a big problem how you can hurt the Bible because being a Muslim, because that time I was with the beard and I was a good Muslim. I practiced all the things in Islam. So that time there was a problem to hide the Bible. I just put the Bible under my all uniforms and don't and never try to read the Bible. But at the weekend, every weekend, I did try to read the Bible from here and there. But there was a spiritual warfare behind me. And after three months, I went to mosque and uh, just I repent to Allah. Please forgive me my sin because I have read the Bible because my mother and father always told me, please don't read the Bible because there is a magic, there is a false teaching and Christian faith don't have any truth. So in 1997, the Pakistan Air Force Authority posted me in Karachi. It's a big city in Karachi, uh, Pakistan. So that time I started a comparative study and I started to investigate the Quran and the Bible because a negative due to the negative attitude of my parents because they always try to uh, teach me the Quran the Bible don't have any truth and the Christian faith is not a good faith. So that thing actually created a suspense in my mind and uh, I did start to uh, find the truth and uh, I made a very good research from the Quran and the Bible. And uh, I did uh, uh, research like this uh, in a deep manner. So finally, praise God, after a long comparative study from the Quran and the Bible, I found the truth in the Bible and the Jesus. And my mind was so totally cleared about the so different things. Uh, it's, number one, the Bible has changed. And I found the truth that uh, word of God uh, cannot be changed. And the word of uh, God is uh, unchangeable. So about the Son of God, Jesus Christ, I found the truth from the Quran and the, even the Bible. So I accepted uh, the Lord Jesus Christ as my savior on 7th July 1998. But I did try to hide this uh, big event in my life from my own wife because she was a Muslim lady and she still is my wife. But after one year, I declare my new faith before my wife in the night time and I declare her, okay, I'm not more, more Muslim. From the last one year, I became Christian. So my name is Sadiq Paul now. So I'm living in the Christian faith and Lord Jesus Christ is my savior. The reaction was totally bad and she suddenly demanded the divorce from me. And she said, I, I cannot live with you more because now you are non-believer, you are kafir and you are no more Muslim. You are Christian now, so I'm Muslim, so I cannot live with you. And I will try to tell your family and the Air Force authorities. And she did like this and very next day, actually, she uh, told to the family of my in-laws and the uh, my own family and there was a bad reaction from the both family side my elder brother and my mother came to me they did try to get backslide me in islam and they have given the so many logics but uh, there was the power of the holy spirit how uh, which have which has defeated them and they uh, went back to the lahore side but after some days my mother-in-law uh, came with a big scholar his name was maulana makbul alam and he did try to actually get me uh, back in Islam. But I just put the Quran and the Bible on the table. And I invite the Maulana, a Muslim scholar, please you can ask any question about my new faith. Because now I have no fear. And I have a frank heart. And Lord has given me the salvation. And I have found the truth. So finally, after the conversation of 6 hours, he was totally unable to answer anything. And he just... Uh, promise with me that uh, he will uh, try to read and study the Bible in the future and he went back and after that event my wife actually uh, got some inspiration to the conversation because that Maulana Muslim scholar was totally unable to answer about anything so that thing actually made uh, possible for my wife to listen the new research and uh, she was totally ready to listen the truth. So I present the truth from the Bible and the Quran, from the research and the comparative study. And God has actually touched her heart. And uh, finally, she also accepted our Lord Jesus Christ on 11 January 2000. 
and there she was actually so much excited than me and she was ready to share the gospel one day he asked me she asked me okay we have the uh, truth in the bible and the jesus why you are not going to the other muslim and preach the gospel because we have the commission in the bible and you are just uh, staying at your home and you are not ready and i advise her okay with the passage of time the lord will give us a wisdom and then we will touch the heart of the other muslim and share the gospel with them so praise god in uh, february 2000 i wrote a book in pakistan and that book name is uh, investigating christianity and isaiah and i did try to differentiate the isa christ from the quran and the jesus christ from the bible because there is a lot of difference might be in the western world and everywhere so many missionary and the christian priests also confused about this topic but lord has made, made possible in islamic pakistan that i wrote on this topic and this book actually got the popularity and so many newspaper the gazette newspaper jang and the khabre and so many newspaper in pakistan they have published the uh, reporting against me they did declare me the enemy enemy of islam and uh, they declare that uh, siddiq paul has inserted the quran and the prophet muhammad and finally on these all reports pakistan air force authorities has arrested me on 16 june 2000 and they put me in the jail in the cell and for four months and i have suffered with the district court martial over there because it was a great matter for them that i have insulted the quran and i have rejected the quran and the teaching of the islam and i have faith changed the faith from islam to the christianity so they have announced uh, district court martial for me it's a kind of court in the armed forces so i suffered badly over there because my innocent children and wife were alone in the service accommodation and they put me in the prison just for this new christian faith I want to convey the message over here to the world and the believers and the other people that the maximum people are saying that there is a freedom in Pakistan but we don't have any freedom in Pakistan a muslim scholar talking about the uh, bible the bible has changed we have no equal right that we can talk on the quran the quran is not a word of god we have no freedom and the liberty in uh, Pakistan so after that even uh, god has released me from the court Uh, with his uh, miraculous power because uh, they have put the wrong allegation against me that i have burned the quran i have changed the faith i am spreading the gospel with the muslim people i am uh, giving the good news to the muslim so this type of wrong allegation they have put against me but there was the godly power with me and first time i have heard the voice of god in jail because uh, being a muslim you can experience the love and the voice and the uh, closeness of the god because god is so holy allah is so holy and you are so sinner you cannot meet you cannot talk you cannot have a fellowship with the allah and the god so very first time due to the uh, this new faith and due to the jesus christ god has spoke to me in the jail okay they cannot harm you and i will release you because i have broken their teeth in their mouth because uh, the air force authority had rejected the mercy petition of my wife and they totally reject her mercy petition about me and they said we cannot spare this type man because he has insulted the quran and the prophet muhammad and islam and he is living still in pakistan so we will not spare in the air force and even in the civil sector so finally when they released me and they again posted me in the city lahore and that city was a full of fire against me because my own family and the family of in laws and other relatives are already living over there but there was a plan of god and we were praying me and my wife both for praying for the purpose uh, we want to know from the god why you have sent over here uh, in, in the lahore city so finally praise there is a purpose uh, we got a connection with our uh, in laws family and that time we try to uh, start the uh, sharing the gospel with them and secretly uh, we did try to share the gospel slowly slowly and after the a uh, period of 3 three, uh, three years they all have accepted our lord jesus christ uh, and again there was a big problem for me pakistan air force authority had a ma- bad report against me and they immediately shifted me near to the iran and the afghanistan border there is uh, an air base pakistan air base samangli in quetta city so i posted over there and reported there and then there was a long and a critical investigation official inquiry waiting for me my higher officer told me okay gentlemen what you are doing in pakistan you first you have changed your faith now you are spreading the gospel over here so it's a big crime and you have to face the uh, official and the uh, legal inquiry in the pakistan air force and i did face that that inquiry and praise the lord 
Finally, Air Force Authority asked me, okay, please give us a written statement. And I gave the written statement of my faith. And I wrote like this in the application, I have changed my religion from Islam to Christianity after long comparative study of the Quran and the Holy Bible on 7-7-1998. So my adjutant and the officer was get annoyed with me and he asked me, okay, you have put the word holy with the Bible and only put the word da with Quran, not holy. It's mean according to your opinion and in your eyes, the Bible is holy and the Quran is not holy. So that was the matter of faith. And I frankly replied to the officer without any hesitation. Sir, you cannot bear this answer. But according to my research, the Quran is not a word of God. I found the truth in the Bible and the Jesus Christ. So praise the Lord after the investigation of one month. Uh, God has made a possible very new thing in Pakistan and our mighty God has opened a very new door in Pakistan that the Pakistan Air Force Authority accepted me, acknowledged me as a first and the legal convert from Islam to Christianity in Pakistan. And we can believe the, the Lord is already working among the uh, Muslim of the Pakistan and the so many other nations and my Lord Jesus Christ actually is the king and the master of the Pakistan and he has the plan of salvation for the Muslim of the Pakistan. That's why he has made the possible uh, this uh, new thing and he has opened the new door that uh, in future the new believer can uh, follow my footstep and they can get a courage. And uh, being a model role in Pakistan, the Lord has put me over there because he has raised from the Muslim and he has given me the courage to preach the gospel with the Muslim. But Muslims are also included in the plan of the salvation by the Lord Jesus Christ, which uh, uh, he has given when he, he was going to the heaven. So we have to fulfill the Great Commission even in Australia, in the Europe, West, everywhere and in the Islam and the Pakistan because Pakistan is called the castle of Islam. So it's a very important country. If we will success, uh, get success to preach the gospel in Pakistan, I believe the whole Muslim will be uh, affected by this action. So our focus in prayer should be the Pakistan and the Pakistani nation. I can pray to my God, Lord bless my nation and the country. And we want to see the gospel over there, the power of the Holy Spirit over there with the full committed spirit, me, my wife and the children and our congregation and so many other brother and sister. We are serving our Lord dedicatedly in Pakistan. And this is the model church in Pakistan. Very first time that in every Sunday service, 20 to 25 new convert believer from Islam to Christianity sit in the every Sunday service. And that's why we, we are trying to make a combination of the new converts and the Christian believer that they can sit together and they can glorify the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so thankful to my Lord which has given me the privilege and opportunity to visit Australia and the Brisbane and share this uh, big testimony for the glory of Lord Jesus Christ. Now we're talking to Pastor Sadiq Paul from the uh, Gate for Nations Church in Pakistan and uh, it's an incredible testimony of uh, being raised as a Muslim and converted to Christianity and I've just got your flyer here from your church. It says, in the globe today we see unrest, violence, terror, poverty, depression uh, and men and women everywhere are looking for peace and joy in their lives. Yeah. Now my question to you is, yeah. being raised as a Muslim, yeah trying to be a good Muslim yeah. and then finding that there is a saviour who can wash away your sins and that you can have a relationship with that saviour. You can pray and find peace and joy. Yeah. Tell me how you felt. What was the feeling uh, in your life when you became a Christian? Was there a burden taken off? Did you feel yeah. a massive change in your life? Yeah, praise Allah. At that time, I felt a uh, uh, very happy man because uh, I have the bondage. Uh, due to the Islamic teaching because there are the certain teaching in the Quran and the Islam. When I accepted Lord Jesus Christ, I found the truth uh, through the comparative study from the Bible and the Quran. So the teaching of the Bible and the love of Jesus Christ has changed my life totally. I am a new man now. Yeah. So there might be people listening to this that aren't Christians. Yeah. Would you want to explain how they become Christians? Praise God. Yes, I can share uh, with them. If we uh, try to study the deep Quran and the Bible, this is a way actually that you can compare the studies and the teaching. Uh, with an open mind, we can actually get the real thing and the truth from the uh, religion and the, from the Quran and the Bible. So I will encourage those people who have this type of heart. Might be they can start the study and through study, they can actually receive the uh, facts and the uh, truth. And finally, might be they can get the salvation. Mm, so wonderful. this is the easiest way 
to know about the truth uh, while we are doing the comparative study and the research. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't realise the facts behind Christianity. They don't believe um, the Bible, but they don't understand the Bible. They've never looked at it. Yeah. So th- I, I agree with what you're saying. You know, look into Christianity. Um, when you ask, you, you'll, re- you, you'll receive. When you seek, you'll find. When you knock, the door will be open unto you, Jesus said. Yeah. So I encourage anyone listening out there, um, look into this. And uh, m- maybe you need to compare uh, Islam and Christianity and, and find a, a comparative study. Keep seeking and then you'll find the truth because uh, yeah. if, if you do find the truth, the truth will set you free. Yeah. Well, Pastor Sadiq Paul, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Uh, and it is so a- encouraging to hear that history has been made with your life. Yeah. And I'm sure we're going to see many more people come to Christ in Pakistan through your church. We'll continue to pray for your church, Gate for Nations Church in Pakistan. The website is uh, gfnmp.com. Well, thank you so much. God bless you. I reckon you're a history maker. I'm also thankful to you and uh, our God and Lord Jesus God who have given me the opportunity. So remember us and your prayers. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us on History Makers. If you'd like to download this interview, just go to www.historymakersradio.com. There you can also find links to Facebook and Twitter. And also you can make a donation if you'd like. And remember, what's the point of getting out of bed if you can't make history? I'm Matt Prater. Have a great week. History Makers.